What's up guys? This is the Awesome Nerd Show and today we are here with our, I believe our last unboxing for the month and it is of course the Loot Crate. Um, now I do know the theme for this one and it's um, dystopia. So of course have a lot of like um, ruinous, disastrous things and stuff. Um, which you'll see obviously um, as we open it. Um, uh, so this of course um, will hopefully have some awesome stuff in it. I am myself am not a huge fan of the like items that are supposed or like the themes that are supposed to be in here um but i'm sure bro may be in of course other people and stuff um but we'll go ahead and start so the first item is a fallout dwarves which i don't know that i've really seen any of the fallout dwarves um but of course this looks just like the power armor suit so there's a better picture of it um, i'll probably take it out of the box here so you can see it um now it doesn't say if this is a exclusive or not so i'm assuming that it's not so there's a closer picture, of course, or view, I guess, of the helmet and everything. And of course, you can see the gun there, and then all the detail that's in the helmet and everything. So that's really cool. Um, has a lot of detail in it, better than just some of the old basic dwarves and stuff. So that's awesome. The sad thing is that has more detail than the actual pop. Wow. I don't know. I haven't really checked out either, or the actual pop and stuff, but. Um, I guess wouldn't really surprise me since the door is probably or the door is probably newer. Um, next up, we have uh, a puzzle from the Matrix. I don't know if you can really see it. I assume that's just what the picture is going to be. I don't know if that's the like movie cover or something. I've never seen the Matrix. There's maybe a better picture of it. Um, but of course, that'll be like a fun puzzle to do and stuff. Um, but yeah, I myself am not a huge fan of the Matrix. But like I said, I'm sure people are. Um, but a puzzle's nice. Um, so our shirt for this month is a RoboCop shirt. And so there, as you can see, and once again, I don't know if this is a, um, like the movie cover or anything, or just like a poster or something. Um, but this is a really lightweight shirt and it's got a huge neck on it. So it's probably not gonna be a worn shirt, but it's still a really cool um, design on the shirt and everything. I do have to say though, with, that's the one thing with Loot Crate. They have a lot of cool shirts, like the designs, but yet they put them on really crappy t-shirts. And so it's almost impossible to wear them. And I wish they would fix that because their shirts are awesome and it'd be nice to wear, but the shirts qualities are crappy and stuff, so you can't wear it. But anyways, um, next up we, we have another um, Bioshock item like we did in another box. And it's Bioshock Infinity and it's um, just a, key blank so I don't know if you could like take this somewhere and get it made into an actual key or if it's just a you know like a collector item stuff but it's really cool and of course has like a bird on there which I'm sure is some like logo or something actually you're given a choice in Bioshock between two pennants one is a cage and one's a bird and they really don't affect your choice in the game but it's just a choice that's given to you oh well speaking of that there you have the bird and then on the back you have the cage of the key so so I guess that's what it goes with or whatever um, but this is a loot crate exclusive so that's really cool and it is an actual hard metal key and stuff so like I said you probably could take it somewhere and have it made into a key for your car or house or whatever you want so that's really cool um, but once again Bioshock not a huge fan but like I said I'm sure other people are um, next up we have it looks like a Terminator 2 and it's just like a metal sign type thing um, of course of the um, whatever T-1000s or 2000s whatever they're called um, the uh, Terminator machines or whatever and stuff and it's yeah just like this uh, metal sign or something you could like display or something I don't know if it's anything other than that but it's still really cool of course um, reminds me of the um, skull we got months ago and stuff oh, probably almost a year ago um, from Loot Crate and stuff too but that's really cool that's a nice uh, plastic or metal thing to get um, then it looks like the final thing is our pin for the month and this is just a, um, a warhead or a nuke um, and it says so of course June 2016 of dystopian stuff so once again then these new pins that I always say are really awesome but it's just kind of plain with um, just a warhead there's um, not multiple things going on here and they didn't include the little um, loot crate box which is <coughs> kind of their little logo they've um, been using so it's like they take it and modify it to the theme and stuff, which they didn't do, but still really cool. And then of course we have um, our book, which goes through a bunch of like different um, dystopia type things, 
with Fallout and all that sort of stuff, and then goes into like RoboCop and everything. So that's um, going to be cool to look through. And then, of course, I would like to end by showing um, the inside of this box here and stuff. And um, so if the little picture on the side, which I see, but you can fold it out and stuff, and then put the Fallout door um, into it and stuff, like a display and everything. So that's going to be it for the Loot Crate this month. Um, what was your favorite item, bro? Definitely the armor door. Um, I would definitely agree with that. That the door is definitely the best item. Like I said, I'm not a fan of Fallout, but still the door, as always, pops doors. Anything from Funko are the best. Um, but this uh, uh, power armor though is really cool um, with all the detail in and everything. So that's gonna be the um, thing for this month. Um, so now, of course, we're gonna do our monthly um, competition type thing and stuff. And so we have our board. And it's kind of hard to see, but we did get the Geek Fuel replacing um, one up on there and stuff. So now we'll make a decision and we'll be right back. And we're back and so we've made a decision and I, we decided on Loot Crate. Um, I think just because of the exclusivity, again, of the um, things, you know, having stuff that you can only find here. Or like, um, I guess more rare or, uh, I don't know how you call it, like, um, random I don't I'll just say random items and stuff. Stuff you don't get in normal boxes. Like in the others, it's just been stuff we've gotten over and over, just of course with different um, themes and everything. Um, but So we went ahead and of course chose Loot Crate. Um, we were, um, we really did like the Geek Fuel, but of course it was mostly the bonus items. And since um, this is monthly competition stuff, that doesn't really count towards the actual box since it was bonus things that since we ordered a year and stuff, so it didn't really count. Um, so we just went ahead and chose Loot Crate, even though it was a pretty close tie and stuff for that. So that's going to be it for um, our unboxings this month. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, check out our other videos and our gaming videos, and we'll see you next time.